can't trust hey, me I'm going. What's up? Um, it's real simple. Um, James Curtis Hayes. That's what my daddy called me. I never knew what the C was. Yeah, it's uh, James Curtis James C Hayes. Um, I'm the founder of Run the Race Performing Arts Ministry LLC. Um, I'm a minister, um, but I've been doing um, arts for about pushing twenty some years. Wow. Um, and I've been fortunate to kind of put some degrees on it. So, you know, I got a BA in theater, um, certified in mass media, which is running the cameras, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Masters in education. So my job is to, to kind of create um, a visual to real life stories. Mm -hmm. Real life stories, Bible life, putting it together, and just changing the way people see stuff. That's so good. that's a little bit about what I do. I think they'll find out later. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you say you are the founder of Run the Race Ministries. Yes, ma'am. Um, which has definitely been seen all across the world. Yeah. And um, it's definitely a different ministry. I was sitting here in the rehearsal, and I was just like, I've never seen you teach before. My sister wow. has been a part of your your conferences and everything like that, but I don't mind. That's not my ministry. But um, <laughs> but um, but so this is my first time actually seeing you actually teach. And I'm, I'm talking to your wife. I'm like. He really teaches differently. Yeah. Like you're not you you don't just say do this move because it goes with the words, but there's right. a reason why this move is so pertinent to this part of the song. And I was just like, wow, like it's really it's so much more than just this is a good song, it's nice words, right. but you're you're really ministering. It's not just a talent or just a gift that you have. So, let's say this. When I was young, I, I could not just sit here and listen to somebody just talk to me. Mm -hmm. I was a hands-on, look, show me, put it in my hands. What if we approach life that way, where we got into a relationship and it wasn't just because it feels good mm -hmm. or just because he's cute, right. I'm going to get with him. What if we said everything I do is for a reason and a purpose? Mm -hmm. So what I did was I took that same concept, the same way I teach in arts, the same way I preach, same way I teach in life is... There's a reason why we do what we do, and if we took the time to think about it, we'll make wise moves. So yeah. I'll just take that same approach in mime and dancing, drama, anything you can think of, that's what Run the Race does. And we take that same approach, and when the people get it, they are more involved in the movements and then the world gets it. Yeah, yeah. So that's the concept. So now how did you come up with the name Run the Race? It is. I'm, some days I'm thinking too, like, how did I come up with Run the Race? I, I think it's been in my it's been in my heart a long time. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, I always used to say, "Hey man, run the race, run the race." <laughs> <laughs> used to be my tag. And funny thing is, I ran track in high school. Okay. I ran track in college. I coached track in college. And the concepts of everything that it takes to run a race, and truth be told, Bible relates this Christian race to. Running the race, yeah. getting in it. So I just started saying, you know, it makes sense. So I came up with a corn phrase, run the race. First of all, get in it. But then run to win. Yeah. Once you're in it, don't, don't just half do this life, man. Run it to perfection because you've already won. And yeah. then run to the well done line. We don't run until we run to the finish line. Mm -hmm. And we know in Christ, we win us. Right. So I took exactly. that whole yeah. concept. So that's how... That's how the name came up, and Performing Arts Ministry, LLC, is simply, it is a ministry in the sense of not just a church ministry, but we meet the needs of the people. Mm -hmm. It's a company. Um, it is for profit. It runs not only for church, but for secular. We teach people how to communicate through all arts. Right. Body language. 90% of what you're saying You've already said before you open up your mouth. That is very, very true. That is very true. Nonverbal communication was one of my favorite classes sure, in college. Sure, yeah. It was one of my favorite classes in college. It's a dope yeah. class. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was really good. So, Run the Race Performing Arts Ministry, you have drama, you have mime, you have praise dance. Man, I have praise dance, I have hip hop, we got puppetry, we got tap. Oh, wow. Um, we have spoken word, everything that deals with expression. That's what we specialize in. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. So you have a conference that's coming up. That's what they say. That's what they say. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the conference. Um, it's July. 
um, 15 and 16, two day conference, three conferences in one. Okay. So what I decided to do was, man, why, why space it out? One stop shop. Mm -hmm. So I got drama, dance, which is hip hop and liturgical. Okay. And then I have mine. So the two day conference is that Friday starts at noon. I understand how people just wake up, kind of need their time. <laughs> so 12 kicks you off. 12 to 6 is nothing but worth shops. Okay. So not worth, worth shops. Worth, worth shops. shops. Okay. Well, what I'm trying to do is give you worth. People are spending their last dime to come to this conference. People are sacrificing to come. I got leaders who are over companies coming to hear what I have to say. Mm -hmm. So I want to give them something that's worth their while. Yeah. So that whole thing is worth shops. That night is a concert just for us. It's called a share case, not a showcase. Where we're sharing our gifts with each other. Sometimes we need to pump each other up. Yeah. Then Saturday, you're learning our choreography. Everything you learn that Saturday, you're reproducing that Saturday night for the world. And oh, it's a wow. free concert. So you really have to be very attentive because to learn something that morning, essentially, or that Absolutely. afternoon, they have to put together that night. Wow. Yeah. But see, this is the thing. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You just need someone to identify, you already got the gift. My job is to stir it up. Yeah. When you stir something up, you start smelling what has already been there. Right. Just That's like that job. old school song, stir up the gift. <laughs> there we go. Lay your hip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it was in me. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so now, so do you come if you're if you already know that you have the gift of drama or praise dance or whatever type kind of dance or mind? Do you come if you just think you have it or if you're kind of just interested you're trying to figure out? This is for age five to ninety nine, or if you're above ninety nine, you can still move. I got you. Um, it's for the beginner to people who've been doing this for twenty years. Okay. I think there's something for all of them. I, I've been talking to conferences all over the country. And what I'm realizing is they're good for starters, but what do you do for the people who've been doing it for a long time? Mm -hmm. What can you give us? Yeah. And I think that's what we're trying to do something different where when you come, you're going to learn. And when you leave, you got something tangible, meaning you can leave, go to your cruise, reteach what we taught you. And I promise you, your, your ministry, your company, your gift will totally shift. Yeah. Yeah. I and, definitely agree. And if they don't believe me, Register and see. Right, so let's talk about that. So how do the people register? They can go to our website at are you running? It's a question. Letter R, the letter U. Are you running dot org. Are you, are you N N I N G or click on it, revolutions up there. It is show you everything we're trying to do. And um, just register and we'll take care of the rest. Okay. Show up and um, be ready to be revolutionized. Now, how do people get in contact with you or you don't want to follow you on social media or anything? They can go to the website. They can go to, I got to remember now, Instagram, run, J-C-H, R-U-N-J-C-H. Facebook is James C. Hayes. Um, Instagram is run, J-C-H. Twitter <laughs> is run with J-C. Hayes. That's also Periscope, run with J-C. Hayes. Everything is run with it. If you can't remember that, go to the website. We'll catch up with you. <laughs> all right, there you go. There you go. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Show and Tell Gospel. My name is Paris L. France. Busy keeping God famous. And if you have the gift of mind, or any, really any type of performing arts gift, if you think that you want to see if you have it, let me tell you, James C. Hayes will pull it out of you. So please visit the website, areyourunning.org, and register for the Revolution Conference. Until next time.